In this video, I will show you how you can boost FPS, fix FPS drops and lower ping inside of the new Fortnite Chapter 4. Hey everyone, it's Reg here and inside of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings and tweaks that you can do right now in order to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, lower ping and even get lower input delay inside of the new Fortnite Chapter 4. Now with the drop of this new Chapter 4 in Fortnite, a lot of the settings that you might have applied already have been reset and there have been a bunch of new settings included into the game as well, which we we will be going over inside of this video. I will be showing you all the tweaks that you can do outside of the game and then we can move on to the settings inside of the game that you need to change or reply in order to get the best out of your game. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. But without any further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. So we are going to be starting off with the Fortnite Chapter 4 FPS pack and then moving on to the other settings. So go down into the description of this video and click on the link to download it from my website. The website does contain a few ads so be patient and just close them close anything that pops up in the new tab and then you should be able to download this once you have downloaded it just right click on it and extract it using 7-zip finrar or whatever you want and open it up inside of here the very first thing that you want to do is disable the user account control so double click on it hit yes hit ok this is going to help us apply the tweaks that won't normally apply if you have this on so it's basically a necessity once we are done with that we are going to be opening up the disk cleanup utility just to clean up our disk and then move on to the actual tweaks so click on ok and then just go ahead and let it do its work it's going to scan for all of the files that are unused on your system drive and then what we're going to be doing is basically going ahead and clicking on ok to delete those files now don't worry these are not important files unless you have something in your recycle bin that's important but other than that all of these files are completely useless and it's okay to delete them so once the files have been deleted we can move on to the registry tweaks so open up this folder and start off from the cpu speed hit yes hit ok okay do the same thing for the decrease delay this is going to help you with the input delay then there is the gpu energy driver which we're going to be going ahead and disabling because it's basically useless then the responsiveness and the network throttling are both combined here hit yes hit okay fix input delay for the keyboard basically setting up the keyboard settings that you would normally go into the settings for and then game priority options do the same thing gpu tweaks same then memory management optimization and then finally the monitor latency tolerance hit yes hit okay once you have applied all of the registry tweaks, you can go back into the pack and open up the patch tweaks. We're going to be starting off by driver tweaks or more like drive tweaks, but this is for your hard drive. So what you need to do is determine whether you have your windows installed on your SSD or your hard drive. So for me, it's installed on my SSD. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this tweak. But if you have your windows installed on your hard drive, then go ahead and install this tweak or run this tweak. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and right click on this, run it as administrator and voila, it's done. Go back into the pack once more, starting with the BCD tweaks. These are basic timer tweaks that you have run many times, but we're gonna be just going ahead and making sure that they have been successfully applied. Press any key to continue. These will help you with the reduction of the input delay. So clear crash performance, this goes ahead and cleans up all of the temporary and log files. So yeah, just go ahead and run it as administrator, then go ahead and let it do its work. It's going to completely delete all of the remaining temporary files, as well as the log files, the Windows update files that were in your PC, just sitting there doing nothing. This might take some time depending on the amount of files you have but just let it run it's going to not only free up your space but also improve the overall performance of windows as it will create new files then so since i have a lot of files i'm just gonna go ahead and let it run in the background i'm just gonna go ahead and minimize it and we can move on to the other tweaks for the clear dns cache it already improves your ping you already know that run it as administrator press any key to continue then disable the high precision event timer it improves your delay press any key to continue disable the nature link this is also going to help you improve your ping so this time i have also included a lot of tweaks that will help you with your ping and then disable the process mitigations once again run it as administrator then let it do its work it's going to disable all of the process mitigations and once it has been completed also you can see all of the processes here so once it has been completed just press any key to continue and then we can go ahead and move back into the pack and open up the gpu tweaks also the cleanup process has been completed so i'm gonna go ahead and press any key to just close it so once you are inside of the gpu tweaks you need to select your graphics card so right click anywhere on your desktop and you should know which 
of bond you have so for me i have the nvidia so i'm gonna go into the nvidia settings however if you have an amd card open this up apply this registry tweak and then just go ahead and copy the settings from these pictures if you have an intel gpu then go ahead and copy the pictures from this and if you have an nvidia graphics card like me open up these settings then apply the nvidia gpu tweaks hit yes hit ok then open up the nvidia inspector and just drag the Ragnarok nvidia profile onto the profile inspector this is going to automatically import all of the best settings that i have applied for you so you don't need to change any settings just hit ok and that's it you are done you now you have the best gpu settings for your nvidia card then we can go back into the pack and open up the power tweaks inside of here we're going to be starting off with disabling the power throttling this is a highly recommended setting that you should always have disabled and then we can move on to the power settings so open this up and we are going to be going ahead and disabling the power throttling so this is a highly recommended setting that i highly recommend you to use because it's highly recommended but yeah always go ahead and disable the power throttling and then we're going to be going ahead and using this import power plan dot reg to basically just import the power plan on by double clicking on it instead of going through the whole cmd method so once you use this file you should have this little icon pop up next to the request power plan dot pow file if you don't just right click and refresh and it should be there but once you have it all you need to do is just double click on it and then it will be imported then open up the power plans and inside of here it should be under the additional plans so yeah just go ahead and select it and that's basically it this power plan already has all of the best settings that you need for the performance so you don't need to change any of the settings inside of it just select it close out of this you can also close out of the pack and even delete it if you want now that we are done with it so now that we are done with the optimization pack we can move on to the other settings that will lead to fps boost in fortnite so the first thing is disabling the full screen optimizations now i know a lot of you might have done this already but after the new update for a lot of people it might have been reset because i know personally for me it was reset so i'm gonna go ahead and open up my file explorer go into the drive where i have installed my fortnite i'm gonna go into the fortnite folder then fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then scroll down until i can find these four launchers so we're gonna be starting off with the top one right click go into properties go into the compatibility tab disable full screen optimizations change high dps settings and also check this hit ok hit apply hit ok and then go ahead and do the same thing for all three of these as well So once we are done with this, we are going to be adding this executable to the graphics settings as well. If you already have it there, we're going to be going ahead and removing it and then adding it back. So open up your start menu and search for graphics. Then go ahead and click on the graphics settings. Once this opens up, click on Fortnite and click on remove. Then select this to desktop app and click on browse. Then go into uh, the drive where you have installed your Fortnite. So for me, it's inside of here. Once again, Fortnite, game, binaries, win64 and then select this top one hit add then click on options set it to high performance hit save the reason we have done this is because if the executable moves during the update then it might just be showing it here but not actually performing the work so that is the reason we have added it back another thing that we're going to be doing is changing some of the settings inside of the fortnite configuration file so for that go ahead and open up your start menu and search for run once this opens up type in percentage local app data and then percentage once again and then go ahead and open it up inside of here go ahead and look for the the fortnite game folder going to saved config windows client right click on the game user settings and go to properties make sure that the read only is unchecked hit ok right click on it and click on edit inside of here just set the full screen mode to zero but we're going to be changing that inside of the settings as well some other things that you need to change right now are the ray tracing which should be set to false dlss quality to zero also be show grass to false just go ahead and set it to false if it's on true and the display gamma go ahead and set it from 2.2 to 2.1000 other than that there is nothing you should be changing here right now because we're going to be going ahead and changing everything inside of the game so hit file hit save also just make sure that you have the scalability option set so yeah just hit file hit save close out of this close out of this as well and we're going to be moving on to the epic games launcher actually so open up your start menu and search for epic games launcher go ahead and open it up so once the epic game launcher opens up click on this icon right here and then go into the settings inside of here just make sure that enable offline mode browsing is turned off minimize to tray is also turned off run when my pc starts is also turned off enable debug logging hide game library throttle downloads use proxy all of these are unchecked 
project other than allow installs while editors are running and the enable cloud saves. Then scroll down to desktop notifications and make sure that both of them are turned off as well and then go into the Fortnite and just make sure that additional command line arguments are unchecked. Now I know some of you might be using some of the command arguments but they really don't make a difference as I showed through benchmarks in one of my previous videos. So just make sure to uncheck this. Now you can go back into the settings and now we're going to be going ahead and launching Fortnite so I can show you the best Fortnite settings to use for this chapter 4. So now that we have loaded up our Fortnite, we're going to be going ahead and going inside of the settings from here. So open up the settings and we're going to be starting off with the display or the video settings. So for the windowed mode, of course, you want it on full screen because even Epic itself says that the game will run slightly faster. But it's highly recommended due to the input implications as well. Then for the resolution, you can go ahead and set it to anything you want. Most people prefer native, but just keep in mind that the lower resolution that you have, the higher FPS you will get. For me personally, I use 1600 by 900. For the VSync that has been moved up into the settings, you always want it off. It's really just not good and also disabling VSync can give you higher frame rate and better input response. So yeah, we do want that. For the frame rate limit, just basically set it one above your monitor's refresh rate. So for me, I have a 60Hz monitor, I'm gonna set it to 120. If you have 144Hz monitor, then set it to 160. But if you have a 240Hz monitor, then I would recommend setting it to 240 because anything above that might not be good. Another thing that you should be keeping in mind while setting the frame rate limit is the average fps you get for example you have a 144 hertz monitor but you only get 120 average fps then setting it to 120 will be better option then for the rendering mode you will get best performance on your performance lower graphical fidelity mode they have renamed the performance mode so yeah you will get the highest performance on this one but if you want to try others you can also do that but for the highest performance just go ahead and select the performance mode then for the brightness just go ahead and set it to 100 percent user interface contrast this just basically only uh, changes the contrast for the settings so i'm gonna go ahead and set it to 1x color blind mode you don't need one and then for the graphics quality uh, settings now inside of here the 3d resolution is actually the percentage for the, your actual resolution if you are on 1600 by 900 and you want even more performance on that same resolution without changing the aspect ratio then you can just go ahead and set it to around 83 percent and that will be good but for most people i would highly recommend to just go ahead and set it to 100 percent and just lower this resolution if they want higher performance then for the nanite virtual geometry always uh, turn this off even if you are playing on the DirectX 12 because this is for high quality shadows and it's of course going to lower your performance view distance should be set to near uh, textures should be low auto download high resolution textures obviously turn them off and high resolution reminders also turn them off and meshes should be low you can also go ahead and try the high meshes but for that to work you will actually need to set the view distance to above medium as well so i would just recommend setting it to near and setting these to low if you want the best performance for the show fps always turn this off just to you know monitor your fps while you're playing the game but those are all of the video settings then going into the game settings and just make sure that your matchmaking region is set right Right. Other than that, also go down to the bottom and turn all of these replays off. Also turn off the NVIDIA highlights and other than that, the performance report stats, just make sure that they are disabled as well. Then moving on to the game UI settings and inside of here, these three settings have been added, uh, which actually do affect the game. For the damage numbers, uh, you can set it to cumulative or list. It's basically up to you. The cumulative will just add up the sum of the damage that you have done to an opponent uh, while the list will just show how it used to to show in fortnite so personally i would recommend using the cumulative because the game does the math for you why would you need to do it yourself i mean you are not asian right well you might be but yeah moving on uh, the radical damage feedback and uh, just go ahead and set it to hit only because hit and icons is the worst off is better but it just doesn't show that little hit icon anymore hit mark if you can say that that it used to show so the best one that the pros are using and i am personally using as well is hit only and then for the target type indicator it's basically just up to you this basically turns the reticle red if it's on a target so it's a personal preference it doesn't make much of a difference um, but yeah i would just keep it on for the sake of it or keep it off it's really up to you another thing is the hood scale i think it's best to set it to 80 percent because it's not distracting and it's not also hard to read so yeah once you have changed all of these settings we can move on to the sound settings and also just make sure the design quality is set to low and the subtitles and the visual sound effects are turned on uh, for competitive advantage other than that hit apply and now you're good so once you have applied all of the settings you are good you can go back into the game and then just launch it 
that's all i really hope that this video helps you get more performance in fortnite and also helps you with any of the fps drops that you might be experiencing in the new chapter but before you leave make sure to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well and also make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are notified whenever i upload a brand new video but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome